Tonight at new at six o'clock, we've gotten our hands on a warrant showing the GBI is now launching an investigation into three Douglas County commissioners and the tax commissioner. We showed the warrant to an outside attorney who says this involves allegations of bid rigging. Caitlin Ross breaking the story tonight and explains where this investigation is going to go next. This is very early in the process, but the GBI just confirmed to me that this is an active investigation and a judge signed off on a warrant to access the commissioner's emails dating back to 2018. The investigation centers on a contract the county awarded to Deville Solutions, which according to the company's website does tax returns, cleaning and property management. The allegations are very serious. I asked former federal prosecutor Bill Thomas to examine the warrant a Douglas County judge signed seeking emails three Douglas County commissioners and the tax commissioner sent. He says the GBI is laying out a criminal case. Often search warrants lead to provide other leads. They will follow those leads wherever they go. The warrant is short, only two pages. But Thomas says it cites alleged bid rigging and a contract awarded to Deville Solutions in 2018 to clean the tax commissioner's office. Thomas says it's difficult to know how long the investigation will take. It could be 10 emails. I mean, I've seen in a recent investigation thousands of emails, um, and that can be a, a relatively daunting task. An attorney for the county told me he doesn't have any additional information about the investigation, but is confident the county commissioners and tax commissioner will cooperate. Thomas says this investigation will be a priority for the GBI. I mean, the judge has signed a search warrant. He has found probable cause to believe at least one felony uh, took place here. I don't think it really gets more serious than that. Well, Thomas can't say how long the investigation will take. He says based on what they find, the next step would be presenting any evidence to a grand jury and they'll determine if they'll pursue criminal charges. All right, Caitlin, thank you so much.